Hey guys, welcome back to the shop where we go over tips and tricks and frequently asked questions to make sure that you get the most out of your Redline bow hunting gear. My name is Wes Brown, field producer and resident bow technician for Redline Bow Hunting, and today is just a little bit different. Uh, if you don't already know it, we just launched our amazing site, The Torch. Now, this is a brand new site by Redline Bow Hunting, and if you haven't heard about it yet, dig in because we're going to go into every aspect that this site has to offer. Now, first off, the first thing that we have to offer with this site is it is a bracket mounted site and a dovetail mounted site. So, as you can see here, I have the bracket mounted. Now this also comes in a red or a black. So you can see a little bit of the accent here. Uh, some of it's red, some of it's black, but you see the red accents on this site here. And then um, on the uh, dovetail, this is the gray version. So you can see here that everything, um, as far as what was trimmed out on the other one that was red, is all trimmed out in gray. So if you like that matte finish, you like to have a little bit um, less flashiness, uh, this one would be for you. Uh, and then if you want to have a little bit of a red uh, because it matches your bow or your style, we get that for you too. Uh, so that's just a small feature. Uh, but again, here's your dovetail and we have your bracket mount. So, uh, you know, like I said in the past, you know, your dovetails are really, uh, really good for your target archers or if you like to uh, shoot 3D uh, with your hunting bow, you can really uh, hone in that aperture of your peep to match your sight housing as well. Uh, so that's what a dovetail is really good for. And of course, we've included that in the new torch. And then your bracket mounted sight, a lot of you guys uh, just like that durability feel of a bracket mount. You don't have to think about things if it, it's not going to get moved forward or backwards, things like that. So obviously, uh, we made sure like we did in our other sites to include that in our brand new torch. Uh, one of my favorite features that we've included in the torch is something that you guys talk about a lot. Um, unfortunately, there's a, a little bit of, of troubleshooting when it comes to sighting these uh, sites in. And we've actually made, we've actually put a feature that you'll see in some target archery sites. Um, you know, there's a few companies out there that do this, uh, but we've made sure to include it in this uh, site here, the torch. And that is your major elevation adjustments for your gang adjustment. Now, again, if you guys just go back in some of my videos, I talk about gang adjustments, but gang adjustments is taking that entire housing and really skipping the wheel here or skipping, if you're gonna do a gang adjustment left and right, you're kind of skipping that micro adjust. You're trying to make those major adjustments um, before you start making the micro adjustments. So as you can see right here on the back part where the second axis, um, uh, spot is on this site, you'll see that there are multiple um, holes here, uh, screw in holes, where your second axis point can adjust to. So on this dovetail, this is where the dovetail meets the rest of the site. And what you can actually do, so if you're shooting, let's say you're shooting too low, well you can actually take the second axis um, uh, bolts out and you can take the entire site down. Uh, to follow your arrow to bring that arrow back up before you start messing with uh, your yardage wheel. So uh, that is, it, 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 there's a lot of room here, guys. So that really helps you out if you're shooting a slower setup, heavy arrows, you know, a lot of people like that heavy FOC. Uh, this is really gonna help you out when it comes to making those major elevation adjustments. Uh, now this is a, uh, something that I only usually see in a target um, uh, site, not necessarily a hunting site, but with the torch, we made sure that we wanted to hit all the aspects that are important to hunters and just archers in general. And this is definitely one of them. It really makes it to be a lot, uh, well, it really allows you to uh, adjust this site specific to your setup a little bit easier, a little bit quicker uh, so that you can get dialed in in the field and get out hunting or get out to your 3D course a little bit faster. Another feature that you don't usually see on any other site out there on the market today, and that's a built-in sight light. Now, uh, everyone has their mixed feelings about what a sight light is used for or how, how effective can it be, uh, but at the end of the day, a lot of people want a sight light. Now, if I'm shooting inside of a blind, a sight light is perfect for me because I'm not getting the ambient light hitting my fiber optics. Or, uh, you know, if I'm deep in the woods, I can still really see, but I'm not getting a lot of light on my pins, uh, so a sight light is always needed. And you know, even in our, um, at least for me, it's always needed, at least for me. Now, in the past, our sights have come with a sight light that you can screw on, screw off, 
and you know really any other site on the market that allows for sight lights it's a screw on screw off now there are sight lights out there that you can recharge um, and then put back on your site, things of that nature. Uh, sometimes these, these site lights will be get left in the truck, left here in the shop, left at home, batteries run out, can't find the batteries for them. Now our fix for that with the new torch is a built-in site light. This is freaking awesome, guys. It's one of my favorite features about this entire uh, site is a button just on the other side of uh, where your windage adjustment, your left and right would be. Uh, so I press a button here and a sight, com sight light comes on. It's pretty freaking nifty. Um, now you can notice here that it is passing through a little window inside the sight housing and it's going right onto the fiber optics of the pins that are in the housing as well. And then on top of that, uh, we also have the fiber optics wrapped around the housing like you see in our other sites and uh, other sites on the market where it can catch that ambient light so you don't need that built-in light if you don't want to use it. Now, it is a rheostat light, so it has four different levels. So uh, if it's super bright out and it's, you still wanna see those pins or take the halo off the pins because it is so bright, uh, you can use that brightest setting or you can use the lowest setting, which actually I used this morning and uh, I was, you know, I didn't draw back on anything, but I drew back and I, it wasn't too bright to be able to see, you know, the stump I was aiming at. So uh, very, very nice, easily able to uh, plug it in and the uh, USB, the, it's a mini USB port. Uh, it, it comes within the box when you buy the site as well. So a uh, very cool feature. It's not something you see very often and I'm very excited about it. It's definitely, I know it's not a major uh, feature, but it's one of my favorite for sure. Now, as you look at this site and some of the features that I've been uh, showing you guys, you probably noticed the oversized adjustment knobs on this. Now, um, I'll take the site right here. Um, before we get into anything else uh, as far as uh, adjustments, but the oversized adjustment knobs. Now, as you can see here on top right here is going to be our, um, our micro adjust for our windage. And when you, uh, and then right here, the front knob is to loosen um, your micro adjustment. So you undo that very, very smooth. There, you don't feel any grinding. Um, and when you go to tighten it down, you can really feel yourself. You can really tighten that down to where it, it just doesn't move anymore. And it kind of gives you that that self feeling that it's it's just not going to go anywhere, which is really really nice. Uh, but again, if I tighten it really really tight, it's big enough knob to where. I can take it right back out to make my micro adjustments. Now, um, the micro adjust, because it's such a big wheel, it takes very, very little effort to make your move left and right. And what's really nice is that there is this brass piece that your micro adjust moves off back and forth and it's self lubricating. So you don't ever have to worry about there being grinding or any type of pieces falling out, things like that. It is a very nice piece of self lubricating brass uh, that is connected to the gear from this knob. So when you make those adjustments, it's very smooth and very minimal and you can feel every notch that you move. Um, makes it very nice for sighting in. Your next knob that you see here is at the bottom. Now you notice here the housing is connected to a dovetail. Now uh, where it's connected to the dovetail, I think that's very, very intuitive of us. Uh, well, of us, that's a little braggy, right? Um, but it's very intuitive to, to put something like that here because a dovetail, in my opinion, is just uh, that perfect size and the perfect, uh, I guess, mechanical hold I might be wrong there. Uh, I, I struggle to find the words here, but uh, the way it's held in place is just amazing. Now, if you look underneath when I undo this one, right, big knob, perfect. I can take this right off just like that. And when I take it off, um, you'll notice on the under, under part of that dovetail, you're gonna see four notches, just like you would see on a regular dovetail that you put onto your bow. And now, although you can adjust, you know, make your gang adjustment left and right, and you don't have to cinch it down into one of those holes, um, I suggest that if you are close to them, uh, put it in there because it does lock it in there even tighter. Now, uh, on the bow that I have behind me, I do not have uh, my dovetail locked into that spot. Um, I just kind of really, I wouldn't say wrenched it down, but I just tightened it right where it's at. It's not moving, it doesn't rattle. Um, and I made my adjustments from there. But yeah, so 
when I put this back on here, let's say that I, uh, I'm, I need a, a major left adjustment. So instead of going on my, my micro adjust, I'm gonna obviously loosen this and I'm just gonna move it to the left. And then I'm gonna find the closest hole uh, or, or notch within that dovetail. I'm gonna screw it in, tighten it. And again, those big knobs are perfect for really tighten. And you don't even feel like you're over tightening because you can really feel the strength that it's putting onto that dovetail uh, so you can be comfortable with how tight you have it. And then you can start making your uh, micro adjust from there. Uh, it's just a really cool feature you don't see very often when it comes to your left and right adjustments. And I really like it just for the, really the mindset uh, factor of it all. Now, when people start thinking about features of a site or what they want in a site, if you put the average archer out there and they put everything they want into a site uh, without you know the hundreds and uh, hundreds of years of knowledge that we've put into a site like this, you end up with a very heavy site. And it's not the fact that uh, that person is wrong. It's just it takes a lot of minds and a lot of uh, a lot of time behind a computer with engineers with designers to truly make a site one worthwhile and two. Um, light and not overly heavy. Now, when I first seen this site, before I even picked it up, I was like, uh oh, that looks perfect. And usually perfect means heavy. And uh, I was very surprised that when I did pick it up, it was not heavy at all. I put it on my bow. I didn't even have to change my front and back bar weights just because it, it weighs just about as much as my, the DTM that I had on the bow uh, prior. So that was very awesome. And on top of that, the only piece that is not um, machined aluminum or, or steel or brass is the gear inside of it that is going up and down for your elevation, which um, is not even like a plastic. It's, a, it's a, a high end type plastic. I forget the name of it, Eric told me, but I forget, but it's super, super strong, kind of indestructible. It's, uh, I don't remember what it's named, but Oh, well, it's, it's, it's really the only piece that's not aluminum or steel or brass. And it's something that is hidden from anything from hitting it anyway. Um, but as far as durability goes with this guys, um, in my experience, it has everything that you want when it comes to durability, mainly because it's all made out of machined aluminum. And then you have your brass inserts where they need to be. Um, and it's just very impressive overall. I mean, just your pins that are your, your uh, yardage indicators, very solid your locking mechanisms very solid and you know i'll just roll right into the locking mechanism for this now obviously here you guys see your yardage wheel and i'm going to get into what the features have there here in a minute but you see obviously nice and smooth right now if you guys have ever used a movable site you'll know that any locking mechanism out there that i've experienced is movable what i mean by that is that when i lock let's say i have a a, a different site, a movable site, and I go and I press the lockdown, even in our older uh, sites, our past sites, we lock them down. Now, if you try to move it lightly or how you would usually do it, um, it doesn't move. But if you really put some muscle into it, you can definitely move them. And I've actually kind of liked it, but I've not liked it, right? Because when I lock it in, I want it to stay there. Um, and it can be a useful feature. Now, our old sites, when you lock them in, they lock in, you really have to force them to move them, but they still move. And then uh, I would say that our sites in the past are probably the best ones as far as locking. You really have to put a lot of effort into it. Other ones uh, that I've seen on the market, you don't have to put a lot of uh, effort to moving them while they're locked. Now, the torch, when you lock this sucker, it's freaking locked. And what I mean that by that is like right now, I have it unlocked. I've put the, uh, my locking mechanism down and I'm able to take my wheel up and down very smoothly, very easily. Now I'll take this locking mechanism back here and I'm gonna push it up. And as soon as I push it up to lock it, I'm telling you right now, I cannot freaking move it. I, um, there's different levers that you can put on this wheel to give you a little bit easier, which I'll show you uh, here uh, later in this video. But uh, when I've used those to get better leverage, I can't move it. I mean, this lock is truly a lock when we talk about a lock locks a lot. All right. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, it locks it in. Uh, it's the only site that I've ever used uh, that is movable as far as a single pin, dual pin, uh, movable site that when you lock it in, it doesn't move anymore. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and as far as durability with just that alone um, is worth its weight in gold. I think it's just an awesome, awesome feature. Now, obviously with, uh, you know, moving or movable sites, 
uh, it comes with your access points. Now, when people really start thinking about access points, they really start thinking about all three of them and how they are structured on the site. Now, in the past, we've included it in some of our sites, but with the new torch, we made sure that it has all three access points. Now, my favorite part is the second access point is right there at the dovetail um, or at the bracket to where you can really make sure that this site is perfectly level to your bow. And then, obviously, we've included the third access point and the first access point. Now, obviously, uh, you've heard my opinion on access points uh, in the beginning when I started doing these videos. Uh, I think they're important, but I don't think we need to put too much thought into them in certain circumstances. I think they just need to be leveled to the bow. And then it really, once you start honing yourself in as an archer, you might start noticing a little bit difference when you're shooting up and downhill. But just making sure that the sight is leveled to your bow and everything is squared up to your bow, um, that's the most important. So having those three access points to be able to uh, customize that perfectly to your setup is very important. And we made sure to not cut short in that aspect of things with the new torch. Now, as you have watched through this video, you might have noticed uh, something very special that a lot of you guys have started to ask about. Now, uh, I've done a few things on Instagram and, and you guys doing some questions and, you know, a little Q&A that we do back and forth, which I hope to do more of if you guys want. Uh, you guys have always, every time I've done it, you guys have always asked, when are you coming out with a two pin sight? Well, wait no longer, here it is. We have a two pin sight. The new torch is a two pin sight. So you have your standard top pin and then you have your second pin. You've seen these in other sites on the market, uh, but what we've done is put a little bit of a, of a I don't know, like a nuanced thing to it, which I really like because it really customizes how you shoot. And that is your second pin is not only a 10,000 size pin, but it is highly adjustable. So that means that when you go to, uh, let's say you're at 20 yards and you want your second pin to maybe hit 33 yards, right? Uh, however you want it. Well, the pin, the second pin, if you look on the outside of the housing, you'll notice that there is an Allen key spot uh, for that pin and you just loosen it and you're able to move that pin individually up and down so that you can hone it in exactly where you want it for whatever yardage you want it. Um, now, obviously that is minimal, so you're not gonna get a lot of travel because it's just a second pin, uh, but it is adjustable, which is very important in our eyes uh, to be able to make this perfect for uh, just your setup. Um, I think that's a very cool, very, very cool option. Uh, and of course that when that light, the built-in light is set up here, it makes that second uh, uh, pin pop. Now setting this up for your bow. Now everyone has seen, uh, you know, sites that have your wheel, uh, you, have a, you have a yardage wheel and that yardage wheel is where you, you can see your yardage indicator and you're also gonna put your uh, yardage tape on. And then you've also seen sites that uh, you have uh, just your yardage panel like most of all of our sites uh, in the past, RL1, 2s, things like that. And um, uh, what that does is, so there's some companies that just give you the option to use the wheel, and there's some companies that just give you the option to use the yardage panel on the front, uh, just like our sites in the past. Now, what we've done with the torch is we've allowed it to make sure that you can use both or one or the other. So if you look on our wheel here, there is a spot for a tape and you can also notice that there is a spot uh, to move your yardage indicators, one for your top pin and one for your bottom pin. I think that's freaking awesome. So if you wanna use the wheel, you can, right? So you can use the wheel here. And then on uh, the front of it, you'll also notice that you'll see um, your yardage panel. So you can utilize the front yardage panel, or you can utilize the uh, wheel itself. And in my opinion, uh, why not just have them both there? Depending on your situation, uh, you'll be able to, you know, look and see on your yardage panel. And then maybe in a different scenario, you'll be able to see on your yardage wheel. I think there's a, uh, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the best features of this because um, it just gives you an all around good feel of how you want to use this site. The site truly, truly is dedicated to you, the customer, the hunter, uh, the person in the field, making sure that you are comfortable with the product that you're using on your equipment. And what this does is allows you to one, customize it to your setup. And two, my next point is customize it to 
what you like, right? So uh, what we've included within this entire uh, package is that uh, you get three different types of levels as well. So you have a level, I have the green level in this one, and then we also have the, uh, the blue, the red, um, and then obviously the green. So you have three different levels that you can put in here, just an easy Allen key um, on the bottom here. You remove it, put the other one back in, uh, however you want it. And what's really cool is no matter what color you choose, that uh, built-in light will also light up your level as well, which is um, kind of just an added bonus, right? Um, on top of all that, we've included 40, yes, I said it, 40 metal tapes for this site. Now, in the past, you guys heard what I feel about yardage tapes, right? Now, yardage tapes are tough. It depends on your setup and, and things like that, but... Um, I, and, I, and actually, I'm the one that usually has trouble with yardage tapes. I'm the one that usually is constantly being like, okay, I have to go and I have to custom make my tape because my arrow setups this or that. Well, on my site, uh, I was able to actually find a yardage tape that is metal um, and actually find a yardage tape on the stickable yardage tapes that we have for the wheel itself as well. I was astonished and uh, I was not part of that r and It was definitely one of my complaints when it came, comes to yardage tapes. I said, we got to find some yardage tapes that freaking work, guys. Um, and uh, without my knowledge, uh, they did. So that was pretty freaking awesome. And uh, so again, Trust the artist tapes, guys. I'm not saying they're perfect because nothing is perfect when it comes to archery. We're just an imperfect sport trying to find per perfection. Uh, but it was really cool that I was able to find one of those 40 tapes uh, that are metal uh, that was perfect for my setup. And uh, it, it's just kind of cool. And if you notice here, um, you can change where this tape is, right? So um, we in the box, it comes with all the tools that you need. So you'll get a tiny little screwdriver and uh, you'll be able to take out these two little screws. And depending on where you find your 20 yards at, right? I'm gonna do a video on how to sight this in, um, but wherever you find your 20, uh, you might have to have this metal tape high or low, and we've included a lot of alternate um, uh, screw holes to be able to mount this metal plate within the yardage panel itself, uh, just to customize to exactly how you're sighting this sight in. Um, I think it's, I, I don't know, that's just freaking cool to me. Just metal tapes. I, you, you usually only find metal tapes in the uh, competition archery world, uh, or you have to like buy them and somehow mount them differently. But we've included 40 of them, and I was actually able to find one that works pretty darn well. I've been able to shoot out to about 85 yards with it, uh, which puts a lot of confidence in me. And uh, I don't know, it's freaking cool. Um, so really back to what's in the box. Obviously, you're going to get your three different types of of uh, levels, one of which is gonna be on the site itself, and then you'll have two extras. You'll get that small little screw uh, that you'll be able to take the screws in and out for your uh, metal sight tapes to mount them back on. Uh, you're gonna get every size of Allen wrench um, that you'll need for the site for every Allen wrench screw on there. And then obviously you're gonna get your mounting screws that mount to your bow. And then there's a little added bonus that uh, I'm gonna actually cut to like a b-roll right here because i don't have it with me um, but there are these two little posts and i'm going to call them like little leverage posts or speed posts this is something that you'll find in like competition um, uh, rifle shooting uh, when they try to use their magnification uh, really fast and it's like a swing arm right so we've done the same thing with this site because sometimes you know maybe we have our site set to um uh, let's say 20 yards and we got to we got to dial it down to 40 really fast and instead of sitting there and holding on to the wheel uh, like this and I got to turn my wrist uh, we've we've given you a couple posts that you'll see how mine's kind of set up there but um, where you can kind of quickly dial that to the certain yardage that you want it to and you can adjust those posts anywhere <clears throat> anywhere within that wheel uh, for however your hand is how small however you're gonna do it. Or you can use it as something as like a really small movement. Instead of grabbing onto that, depending on where your hand is, you can kind of just push it with your thumb instead of having to grab onto that wheel. Um, and I'm gonna go over this, guys, on other separate videos. Uh, this one here is I just really wanna hone in on all the awesome features the Torch has to offer. Um, let's see, what else do we talk about with the Torch? Um, I'm sure you guys are going to ask a bunch of questions and I can't wait for them because I love answering you guys' questions. Uh, but as of right now, I've done this all in one take. There might be some cuts in here because I'm kind of like thinking, but, um, 
I'm super excited about this site, guys. I mean, this is this is a top of the line site and the price point, I promise you guys, it's not gonna get beat. It is, for what you're getting, bar none, man. It is it's just awesome. Like, I, I hope I shoot a buck with it this season. Uh, I, I pray that I do, but uh, the site's just freaking cool, man. Um, I think that's about it, guys. Oh, hold on. So one last feature. Now, again, uh, in some other movable sites, you've noticed maybe that there are some things that you can screw into your, um, your elevation uh, like a bracket that will stop the site from going any further, or it's like there's a marker there, that's where you want it to stop. Now, if the scenario is very, I wouldn't say rare, but it doesn't happen all the time, but it's a really cool feature to have. So depending on where I set my site up for, let's say 20 yards, right? Um, and, and 20 yards for me is like right here. Well, if you look here, um, there is a little screw with a little bit of a bracket that is movable up and down, probably a quarter of an inch total. And what that's going to do is like, if that's where your 20s at, you screw that in and that's where it stays, right? So I, and I think that's pretty awesome because if I go down to 40 yards, right? Let's say my average shot to wherever I'm hunting is like 40 yards. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put it at 40 because more times than not, I'm probably gonna have a 40 yard shot. But then all of a sudden, this deer comes in right at 20 yards. It's like, oh crap. Well, instead of having to look down at your site to see uh, if you're gonna make it to 20 or if you're gonna go bypass 20 or maybe you're below 20, you don't have to do that. If you put this little marker um, where you need it for your 20 yards, you just go boom. And as soon as your wheel stops, you know for a fact that your bow is set at 20 yards. Um, another, another way to utilize that is your bottom yardage. So if your last yardage is 85 yards, you can go ahead and set that spot right up at the bottom, right there at 85 yards. So if you're out on 3D course or whatever, you just know that you just can bottom it right out, right at 85. Now, again, there's stoppers here, so this wheel's not gonna fall off this whole entire bracket. So that's not what it's there for. It's there to hone in your 20 or your 80, or maybe your 40, whatever. I just, uh, and now I'll go over on different ways to use this in a, in a future video, but it's a pretty cool feature. It's something, um, I got an itchy nose. I just uh, trim my mustache and my beard so I have hair, hair in my nose. I'm not picking it, I promise. Um, <laughs> Sorry, uh, you know, I, I forgot where I was at. But anyway, it's a cool feature, guys. Uh, it's, I wouldn't say it's, it's super important. I think I took mine off uh, right when I first started using my site. And uh, I will go back on because I do enjoy knowing that uh, maybe I had a close call at 35 yards and then I gotta like reset. I don't even have to look at my bow. I can just run my wheel all the way up. I know it's at 20 and I'm starting over again. Or if I'm on the 3D course. You know, after um, shooting at 35 yards, I do like to take my sight back to 20 because in my head, I'm always starting at 20 yards so that I never just leave my sight the way it is, right? Um, just a, it's just a neat little feature. I, I, I like it. Um, but yeah. But uh, really, guys, that is the gist of, um, that's the gist of the torch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, honestly, it's a kick-ass site, guys. I mean, for the freaking money and what all the features you're getting, there's no other site in the market like it. I can, I can, I can almost promise you guys, there's no other site in the market like it. There, the features are bar none, uh, not matched. It is just an overall workhorse of a site. It is it's just badass, man. I mean, it's just a freaking awesome site. And I know I keep saying it like I'm this fanboy, or I'm like. You know, you guys got to go buy it. No, use whatever the heck you guys want. If you guys watch my sh stuff because I just give good tips or you just make fun of me, I don't care. I th cool. Thanks for the views, guys. Uh, but at the end of the day, the torch from Redline is just freaking awesome. And in my opinion, it's the best site that I've ever shot. And for the people that know me, uh, I don't switch very often. I'm pretty darn hard-headed when it comes to sticking with one thing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there that never thought I'd ever shoot PSE. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that I, that never thought I'd switched from the sites that I was using or the rest I was using. But, um, I'm telling you guys, the torch is something special. It's different. And, uh, although I still have a couple of my bows, uh, running with the RL2 and the RL1, cause it does have its place. Um, you know, 
my my omen and i have a mach 34 coming they will have the torch on them and uh you know we have a lot of work to do to beat this uh, but again guys check out the site at the very least it is incredible it's very special a lot of features a lot of customizability and a lot of potential in the future to even make it better so check it out guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time